With still no word from the North Korean government, China's Long Dan again urged all sides to come to the bargain. We have now a late response by Admiral Toshiro Otomo of the Japanese ISDF. Despite the ambassador's efforts, nothing has changed. The Japanese people must continue to endure harassment and humiliation. We eagerly anticipate the arrival of the... Hey, I hate you leaving us. Get back to Panama. Hate to eat and run, sir. We have a few loose ends to tie off before we can rejoin you. Well, you can make it back for the 4th of July. I'll show you one heck of a good time, boy. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Hey, Emilio. Did you see these new motion sensing lights? No. What do they do? When they detect movement, the light turns on. That's... that's amazing. Like magic. I think... I'm going to get one of those from my garage. Imagine you pull up in your car at night, and the driveway lights up automatically. Ha! <laughs> You're crazy. This is high-tech stuff, Emilio. It probably costs thousands of dollars. Hmm. See, you're probably right. I could never afford it. Fisher, I just synced your offset with intelligence on the bank that you and your team gathered back in 89. Ah, uh, the memories. Yeah. Judging from your report, sounds like it was quite a vacation. It was, actually. I spent most of the rest of that year sleeping in a ditch on the road between Baghdad and Kuwait. Oh, well. If it's any consolation, I had a bad year that year, too. What? You weren't working for the government during the Gulf War? No. I was in 10th grade. Oh. Right. Yuck. What's that down there? Did you hear the latest news? The Americans just announced that they have a problem with the rescue shuttle. What kind of problem? Some kind of malfunction in one of the problems. The parts required to be weak and I thought they said the astronauts only had a few days of life. Fisher, I've got a copy of a work order here that the bank filed with their insurance company. It says the dome windows over the lobby are magnetically locked. See if you can find a breaker or junction box up here and power down the locks. Right. on the windows. Hey, wait a minute. Power spike. The lobby. It looks like a laser grid just came online. Lasers. Lasers are so... 90s? I was gonna say 70s. Can you please stop making me feel old? Got bad news for you, Sam. You are old. Fisher, here's our advisor. He'll walk you through the steps that'll get you into that vault. Be patient with him. Oh, he's one of those. Right. Hello? Is this thing on, then? It's on. I'm here. 
have you been briefed? Whatever. Listen, this is the Mason Wells 88. Each one is unique. You want to get a butcher's up this girl's skirt. First thing you need to do is authorize an opening. How do I do that? The bank president and the treasurer will each have an authorization lock in their office. There'll be another one in the security office. You'll need to disable all three. Okay. That's a relief. Our installer seems to be compatible with their local OS. That's it? Just plug and play? That's the idea. No fuss. Get all eight of those forged mails uploaded. Make the robbery look like an inside job. Exactly. Not made by second-rate laborers, loud bowling each other for a Panamanian army service contract. The quality of the uniforms is exemplary. They'll never wear out. So? They're about five of these hotter, they weigh eight ounces more, they don't use the dolls, and they're easy. Well, it doesn't sound like a very good business move to me. Why would the Americans do that? From a business perspective, it's a terrible move. But let me ask you something. What? Hypothetically speaking, if you had to invade Panama, would you rather fight an army with disposable second-rate uniforms, or an army that was overburdened, overheated, itchy, and couldn't move well? Oh, I didn't think of it that way. Neither did our general when they talked to juicy U.S. contract for everlasting uniforms. more lasers ahead, Sam. This whole place is singing with photons. There's a guard who seems to be walking around here, no problem. Maybe he has some kind of beacon. Get close and you can stay in his electronic shadow. Thank <laughs> you. 
There's definitely something not right about this. That's a neat trick you do with the lasers. Okay. What? Well, uh, the grids. They detect some kind of signal emitted by a transmitter stitched into my uniform. Give me the transmitter. I don't know where it is. I swear. It's just stitched into my uniform somewhere. Hmm. That's bad news for you. Because I still need to get past the lasers. And since I don't want to undress you, that means I have to take your body. My body? You... You mean my unconscious body? I hope. Either way works for me. Hark! Thank uh you. -huh.